Hello everyone, my name is Domino and welcome back to Sunless Sea. We're just taking off from the Salt Lions and we need to get back to London. Both for the sake of restocking and for the sake of turning in all these port reports we've been finding, since now we've actually been finding them. Yeah, we need to... North by Northwest, I think is this way, I think, yeah. Surely West by Northwest is sort of more that kind of direction. Like this angle, but this. Like that's northwest. Like top left. So north by northwest is surely like north by means of going northwest a bit, right? I'm not a very good sea captain. <laughs> oh well. Somehow somehow I'll get over that handicap in time to get my crew a bunch of goodies when we get back. We haven't been killed by a horrible sea monster yet, so... That's nice, but then the only sea monsters we've seen have been slightly irate jellyfish. How close are we actually to the Rowena's Rocks? Mutton Island is apparently right here, so we might as well catch this one while we're while it's right there. A sluggish wave, the ship pitches. And we find ourselves on Mutton Island. And the Quaker's Haven. Interesting. Home waters, sailors dawdle at the rail, watching for the lights of London. Fires on the hillside of Mutton Island. Once, this simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs, before London fell and the waters rushed in. Smoke spirals from cottage chimneys, a lonely hill rises behind town. Drinks at the Cock and Magpie? There's only one public house on the island. Famed for its local cider and seafood, but uh, it's locked. Time is passing. Darn. Okay, but when time is passing, something awaits you. Oh dear. Wretched Mog. Ooh, a cat with a rat and my fucking... I'll just fill my officers up with pets and they can all fight over who actually gets to be the officer. Wander a little way along the shore of the dock. Like, time is passing though and I might miss this dude. I have three supplies. A yellow-eyed, mangy, piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacle chain. You've never seen a cat's mouth open that wide. Presumably it's hungry. That would take three supplies, of which I only have three. Thanks, wretched mog, but I... I sorry, I don't need... Like... Wow, well, there's a lot to do on this one, eh? Like, I already have two mascot officers, and I need my supplies to get back. Like... They're going to need to eat soon. And that'll leave me without enough, so... Chat to the fishermen. They sail the Z around the island. They mend their nets by the harbour. They see all that happens here, but you'll need coin to open their mouths. It'll cost me an echo. What do I get from it? Just a story, I guess? Ah, that gives me the port report. Fine. Cost me an echo, but now I have the report for this place. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at their work. And eight ships putting in a resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Okay. Cock and Magpie still locked. Ah, it's all... Ah, it's it's got... I need more money than I have for that. Ah, okay. I see. I see. Supplies? No, I don't have the money. Fuel? I don't have the money for that either. But apparently it's a very modest challenge here. At the hilltop above town. Shush rat. There's not much wind on the Untersee, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an un inexplicably local fragment of weather. For the record, when wind is concerned, that is buffet. That is a different word to buffet, which is about food. Okay, there's no food on this hill, I think. And the air on the hilltop sometimes carries interesting scents. Hmm. A very modest challenge. I have a really good chance of getting it. Toasting the wind. You stand on a cliff top overlooking the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins it to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly like a god cut in half. What a noise. It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is a southerly. Succeeded. Oh good. Gain some terror from the horror of the wind. Some fragments, and that's all for now. Success. How close is... Like, I don't like leaving a cat alone. I like cats. But... 
no, I need my supplies. Like, if I give them away, like, there's no guarantee, like, the port reports will pay for my next load of batches. Although they better, because I'm running out of fuel as well. Okay. Let's shove off. Does the speed change the amount of fuel that I drain? I don't think so. 59, 57, 55. And if I slow down, 53, 52, 50, 49, 48. No, that seems to be pretty much be it. If I have no fuel, I'm going to end up fucking stranded, though. Oh, this is my last barrel. Ah, oh, shit. I was way worse off than I thought I was. Note to self, pay attention to fuel in future, maybe. What is that? A Caligo class clu A Caligo class cruiser? A Caligo class cruiser, but it's not pirates. It's just a boat. Ah, shoot. Ah, okay, that's... Yeah, without... Yeah, well, your ship is just an oddly shaped house okay, located somewhere you really don't want to live. This will disappear as soon as you have fuel. Okay. So. Ah, okay. So the fuel barrels, I don't have any more fuel barrels. I'm on my last one. Okay. So this is just telling me that, I think. Okay. Okay. Good. Because we're just getting into London now. When you are far from land, click on the z bad icon. It will search for undiscovered locations. Yes, I discovered this. Is there anything near me now? There shouldn't be. Unless there's something north of here. Oh, well, what do you know? Hunter's Keep to the northeast. Maybe I'll... Like, clearly, this place, this place, and this place I should have gone to for the port reports initially, as opposed to, like, several miles out to sea. But, you know, come on. I'm, a, I'm an ocean captain. I'm a Z captain. Exploring the Z. What would be the point if I only went, like, ten feet out from the shore? What kind of exploration is that shit? Ah, that is dock. Collect messages from the harbour master. Breath of relief. Now, if I have too much terror, then I can do that. Collect messages from the harbour master. All the clatter and song of the dockside, it soothes the soul. Are there messages for you? Let's see, something has changed in the neath. Someone wants to sign on. The blind bruiser attends to business in the dock. That's all for now. And you now have another day, a free evening. The rose market hasn't changed because it's higher than zero. Okay. Ah, good evening, Captain. And what a marvellous evening it is, if you don't mind my saying so. And given it is my impression you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few <laughs> articles of cargo. If you happen to be in the area, the cheery man will, of course, cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. With at least one unit of space in my hold. Accept the commission. Okay. Is there another task I could perform instead? Refuse the commission. Hold is full. Affairs are complex. Blah, blah, blah. Mount Palmerston is far away and full of devils. <laughs> nah, sure, I'll accept it. Why not? It is only, after all, a trifling inconvenience. If you will be so kind to deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, then they will see we gets to hear about it. And when you come back, we'll cover your expenses. Bon voyage, as my aunt, who was French by birth, if not by inclination, used to sight to sight. <clears throat> That's a mouthful. Mount Palmerston is generally somewhere northeast of London. Okay, so we're going that away. Much to the northeast. You agreed to smuggle souls from London to Mount Palmerston. Oh, good. A crate of exceptional human souls. It has never known the tender touch of the Imperial Customs stamp. Consequently, it cannot be sold on the open market, and you better not be caught with it. Great, so now I'm smuggling. Fine. The Merchant Venture. An urchin tugs your sleeve. Governor wants a word. A brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs, but it'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you came by these things. Okay. A dream and a scheme? As a request, speak to him further. Something spicy and something perilous. Okay. I need seven skins of zoop, or seven packages of mutasalt. Okay. So I need to find such things. Or seven devil bone dice. Okay. 
500 for seven barrels of the things. 700 echoes for the mutazold. Blimey, you do. Perhaps not, but uh, should I ever find it? Hmm. A visit to the tattoo parlor. You're a real zailer now, after all. You could go to one of those tobacco and prey places by the docks, but the prices at Clathamont's are reasonable and his daughters are real artists. But what sign will you choose? Ooh. For an echo. Tale of Terror, which I do not have. One Z story. Memory of a distant shores. Vision of the surface. Moves in the great game. Goodness. Or remain unblemished. This will reduce your terror to zero once only. What is my terror at, anyway? 23. That's not that bad. Um, what can I get? One that will increase my mirrors and cure up to 25 points of terror. Goodness, these are great anyways. Uh, my veils or my mirrors? Veils is my, like, agility. Mirrors is, like, my perception. Um, well, I have a little veils boost from my mascot. So maybe I should get a little mirrors boost? The unflinching eye. You've seen such sights. I saw so many dead guinea pigs and I need to remember that I saw such a horror. Fair enough. The gold needle pricks. Lily Clathamont hums. At the end of the process, the tattoo's gaze is so expressive you almost expect it to blink. You almost hasn't to look your own arm in the eye. Gained two, gained two mirrors. Lost 23 terror. Lost my memory of distant shores. And one echo. Your memoirs, your own sweet skin quality, is now the unflinching eye. Goodness. Delightful. London, the greatest city on the Untersee. Like, I'm st from what things are saying, I'm starting to wonder if this is like... If there's actually like an ocean... Like, if we're currently on this sort of level, and there's actually a regular ocean above us. Like, because they seem to re refer to it as the Untersee a lot. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a little unclear. But then there have been other implications from various parts of things that I've read that inform me that this is actually like... Might be based on an already existing canon of something, and I don't know what it is. Maybe I should look that up in further detail. For now, my lodgings. Read the papers. Learn the news. The Carnate is threatening... The Carnate? Carnate? Canate? Carnate, probably. Is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies on the Canelian coast want independence. They always do. The Unterzi, the papers report, has undergone another alteration. Not yet, it hasn't. You'd know. Oh-ho! A promotional coupon for Mrs. Plenty's provisioners for a calf cask of salt herring. You can use that. Delightful. I'll take free salt herring. My private sanctuary is still locked. Fair enough. Unlocked when Memoir's quality of lodgings is... Ah, okay, so when I upgrade my lodgings, that unlocks. I see. It's just phrased a bit weird. When Memoir's quality of lodgings is blah blah blah. I'm getting there, though. I'm figuring it out. I think I'm doing it some justice, at the very least. And if not, I'm sure you'll all let me know how dumb I am, how bad my voices are, and how I should probably play something else. Something a little, something a little more up to scale with my brain power, like Bob the Builder's first building adventure. I don't know. <laughs> don't know where I was going with that. Everything else is locked. Retirement is that's locked. Yeah, maybe, maybe I won't retire just yet. Purchase an elegant townhouse. Oh, rest in a room above the blind helmsman. Okay. Like I'm not sure why this is. Uh, that needs ten echoes. And that's like an unlock to my room, and I need a little bit of terror, apparently. Purchase an elegant townhouse for a thousand echoes. Goodness. But I have a room above the blind helmsman. Ah, okay, I see. So, ah, uh, oh, right, 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 right. So my lodgings are the room above the blind helmsman. And once I unlock a bigger one, I can get a study, and that's how I get a bigger one. Ah. See, it's all a little, just a little weirdly laid out, but I'm getting it. Back into the city? Sure, sure, sure. Ah, the Admiral's Survey Office. I have a fair amount of stuff for you, you bunch of nerds. Huh? Shepherd Isles, submit as fact. Submit as unstantiated hearsay. That's a higher... Ah, so they can give me better stuff for, like, more accurate things. Okay. Poor report. No. Unstantiated hearsay. I don't have the... I don't have the veils to risk on that one. Friendly scoffing. Oh, I agree, it does seem implausible. So many of the stories from that place do. Still, there is a little gold of truth in the mud of rumour from time to time. Your payment, Captain. Brr. I don't know why he's a uh, uh, General Melchid from Blackadder. <laughs> Something has happened, or so somebody claimed. Gained ten echoes. Solid. Now have one favours, the Admiral's favourite. Cool. Surveyed the Shepherd Isles, and I got a fuel. Good. Fantastic. So let me call a colleague again. Ah. From Station 3. 
This is my colleague, Mr. Villane, of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Villane, this captain's reporter's here. If you would care to... Yes, the fire is already lit. Let it... There we go. Now only ashes remain, and it might have caused such a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here's your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. Okay. Curious matters are conducted. Whatever, I've just thrown them under the bus and gotten a hundred echoes. Fuck it, who cares? They're shit. Surveyed Station 3. Gained the Admiral's favour. Good. And one extra fuel. Delightful. Pigmoat Isle. I'm not certain I heard you correctly. You bloody did. Are you quite certain this is the report you wish to make? Mm, so be it. Ten echoes. Poor report. One favour. Survey the Isle. Extra fuel. Ah, so they give me fuel for everything that I do. And some echoes. Good, good, good. The bazaar has always taken an interest in that place, the salt lines. Ah, I was worried that it might just be like three at a time, like you have to like survey three and then give in that chunk, but no, you can report every single one in. Good, good, good. Three must have just been like a... must have just been a, um... like a, a special mission type thing... uh... objective that I read somewhere and misinterpreted. Twenty echoes, gained a few. No one have this poor boy, gained this, survey the salt lines. Delightful. Well, you can say, I've been trying the original rubbery lumps, have we? I'm not sure if that's uh, something else, or that might be something about jelly deals. I don't mind jelly deals. Try jelly deals? Just try jelly deals. Pie and mash. Um, <coughs> Poor report of Quaker's Haven. Five echoes, a favour. Your visit has been confirmed by the Admiralty Records Office, apparently. Okay. I don't know why I was doing that. Asked to speak to the Dark Spectacled Admiral. Once you have three Admiralty's favours, and you get three Admiralty's favours for doing the port reports. Ah, okay. The Dark Spectacled Admiral. Hmm. hmm. Apparently I'm to show you in anyway. Very well. Hello, men in black. You're ushered into his office off Mansion's Pier. A cramped room... Mansion's Pyre, pardon me. A cramped room with a vast desk. He surveys you across that desk. Ah, yes. The merchant captain of whom we hear such complicated things. The Admiral will purchase intelligence from you. Assistance assistance with subs subsistence. Ask if the Admiral can provide a little fuel to cover your costs. Ah. This will take you to the dry dock where one point of favour will get you two to three fuel. Ooh, that's nice. Vital intelligence. Uh huh. I don't have any vital intelligence, so that's fine. Submit your port reports. What's the data like on those farther shores? Okay, so I can... Ah, so that, that takes me back to that bit. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. Submit a relevant chart to find out if it's real. Ah, speak of moves in the great game, whatever that means. Ask what he needs. Turn in your shipment of red honey. I don't have any red honey, but thank you. Return to Wolfstag Docks. Okay. Well, what about this? Like, the favours. Once I have enough favours, you'll talk to me, though. Okay, cool. Tough challenge. Unlocked with favours. Amaral is favour four. You have five. Fine. Right, so I can do that. Repairs needed? Yes, my repairs are needed. Ah, so this is actually a challenge if it will work or not. Okay. Oh, the Admiralty fuel stores. I see, I see. Ah, but the Admiralty yards, I can call in some favours here. And this costs... costs much less to use. Ah, and my hull is pretty bad. So this will cost me an Admiralty's favour. As long as I have at least three. And then 25 Echoes, much less than everything else. And it will repair me. Yeah, 24 Echoes. Lost three favours. Okay, so now I have two. Fine. Call in some of your Admiralty favours to have your cheap, good quality work done on your ship. Delightful. Fixed to max. Brilliant, beautiful. I love it. Okay. Rattus Faber Engineers. Ah, yes. The rats of... People might like. As long as I don't have a cat. <laughs> and if I have less hull and three supplies instead of echoes. But uh, no thanks, my supplies are less than f splendid. What do I have to sell at the moment? Skintalax, yes. Sell all these, and for, for pretty good money too. 70 echoes a piece. Delightful. The guns, torpedo nets. The naval surplus. Rattus Faber assistant. Uh -huh. Deployed for quicker repairs. No, that's that's fine. Don't have any of these. Iron and misery. Like where's where are like the 
things that I can sell like, this other stuff to. Like, fuel is fuel. Oh, it must be on here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Bolts of spider silk and bales of parabola linen. Sell that for even more echoes. Delightful. Uh, let's see. I need some supplies. Shipside provisions. My fuel could do with going up a bit. Flares. That lights up the place. Right, for now... Let's get up to 10 supplies, and let's get up to 10 fuel. Hold capacity is currently 22 of 40. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Foxfire candles. I don't know what the hell those do. Let's... What, like, what are you? You guys... Caminus Yards, the Bandersnatch. It's a monster, are you? Powerful weapon that relies on torpedoes. Those are very expensive. Naval surplus. Like, this is the one that I have. And then there's also torpedo nets, the sea worm. Like, is this better than my current one? It is. Much better, actually. Life damage, hull damage. Warm-up time is the same. Crew damage is the same. Stagger amount. Costs one torpedo components per use. Ah, okay. So I need to buy torpedoes to use that one. Okay, good to know. This one, on the other hand, doesn't need that is still better than my current one. Like, maybe I should just upgrade my gun? I mean, it's 200 Echoes and I have 259. My supplies and my fuel are accounted for. Um... What about, like, this stuff? I, I can't afford this. Okay. That's why that's grey. Sorry, some things are grey and some things are not grey and I'm never 100% sure of which one's which. Hello. This one's even better than that one. Same warm-up time. A flensing cannon, huh? Ah, flensing cannons. Don't they do, like, more, yeah, more damage to the enemies? Like, crew damage is different to life damage. I'm not 100% sure what that is. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's something I should look up off screen and then get back to this. This game's interesting. The first two episodes, I apologize very much. They were quite slow and I was trying to figure out what I was doing and it was a bit complicated. But now that I understand what's going on, I actually kind of want to keep this going for at least like two more episodes, I think. So I think I will. And then I'll move on to a long series. Even though I promised that it would be sooner rather than later. But you don't mind, do you? Nah, good. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.